So we're going to talk about uh, what is cybersecurity. And as you know, that cybersecurity is an important area right now, which is uh, very much uh, in demand in the industry, as well as in the government and the various workforces. So understanding cybersecurity is very important and how this course is going to build your career in the field of cybersecurity. So almost every course at UTS, so they cover uh, or within the Faculty of Engineering and IT, they actually cover something about cybersecurity. And how do we actually prepare to study this course is, is very important. So before going into further detail, so let me tell you a few things. As we know that uh, the online shopping fraud and scams are pretty much happening every day with um, you know most of us, I mean, we have noticed that a lot of fraud messages we receive and how we react to that one is important. Also relates to banking scams and all. And uh, if you look at uh, the statistics by Gartner and uh, other sources, so during 2021 financial year, in Australia itself, there were 67,500 reports on cybercrime, which was an increase of 13% uh, compared to the previous financial year. Two thirds of cybersecurity businesses, they're under 10 year old. So basically you can think about the cybersecurity is a field which is very young, but very fast growing field. So most of the customers, so, so who are actually part of the government, then private organization, even individuals. So everybody so need to know the importance of cybersecurity. One quarter of incidences, they are actually affected by um, Australia's uh, critical infrastructure. So critical infrastructure such as uh, how the electricity network, the water network, and all those important uh, critical applications, they are actually connected and controlled. New South Wales has got the largest and uh, most diverse range of uh, cybersecurity providers in Australia. So if we look at uh, the area of importance in cybersecurity, so they are almost uh, in every application and organizations. And uh, based on, again, on the report, so by 2024, there is an Australian dollar 7.6 billion will be spent in maintaining the cybersecurity aspects across a range of organizations in Australia. So as I said, cyber crime incidences, they are actually right now contributing to the third largest economy in the world. So it is surprising, but that is the fact. The Australian cybersecurity growth networks, which, is, which has estimated that there will be a need for 17,000 additional cybersecurity specialists by 26, 2026. And this figure is actually changing rapidly. So what should we do in terms of you know, managing these cyber attacks? We need to have some good understanding on different types of attack, particularly the most common type of attack, including ransomware, phishing, distributed denial of service attack, et cetera, et cetera. So ransomware is, um, is a very sophisticated attack and these growing importance among the cyber attackers, where the cyber attackers basically control the files and the resources within your computer and then demand to pay them in cryptocurrency. This particular thing is increasing at a very fast pace. So when I say fast pace, so in 2021, compared to year 2020, the attacks were double. And in 2021, 2022, it's three times. So this is how the, the, the pace at which actually the ransomware attacks are basically one of the many ways how the attackers actually extracting money from users, both individuals as well as organizations. Similarly, the phishing attack and the sphere phishing attack, almost everybody receives some kind of you know, email, unsolicited email from some unknown source pretending to be a legitimate organization and asking you to click the link to verify your account, to verify your shopping order and so on. And you have to be very careful against all those kinds of attacks. Distributed denial of service attack, which is a very old uh, style attack, but they're also the attackers are using a variety of tools, variety of methods 
on how they can they are being successful in launching these attacks so what we need to know we should have a proper understanding on how to deal with this kind of attack so that means user awareness is very very important and of course once you know the attack is underway or already has happened on your computer on your file on your resources so basically then you can think about how to defend and protect your resources you also need to understand and apply um, various intelligence procedure because right now the cyber security field is so fast increasing so there are a lot of other associated areas like machine learning ai computer science fields so they are also getting associated very strongly with cyber security and and we need to actually understand how to apply the techniques what we learned from those fields of course you have to develop some kind of plan and strategy about the awareness and there are a lot of uh, documents which you could find in literature which are adopted by various organizations so at uts cyber security um, even if the term is new but uh, the works related to you know teaching and research uh, which are on cyber security areas so we have been doing that kind of activities over the last 20 years or more we have a established discipline of cyber security so who who are actually the experts or academic researchers they are working on different research areas on, of cyber security related problems also we are offering a lot of courses starting from major in cyber security major in network and cyber security and so on so it's a dynamic field of study so where uts is very much engaged in over the last 20 years our graduates are always in demand by the industry by the government because we have a very strong industry connection starting from banks to consulting organization to manufacturing to retail sector so we have a very strong connection with industry so we have uh, a number of uh, expert academics so who who are involved in teaching as well as research and of course uts is known for its uh, best facility in terms of lab in terms of learning environment in terms of advice so that is something very unique to uts and you will gain the best from this course studying at uts so this is an this is a picture to demonstrate um, how the networking labs um, which are actually there at uts within the faculty of engineering and it so you could see there are a lot of switches and routers which are actually connected and you can do hands on experiments learning various networking skills and net and the next lab which is actually the cyber security lab here we are using a number of juniper routers switches servers and all and to give you a complete hands on on performing the lab based exercises across a number of subjects so the new course which is bachelor of cyber security uh, program so which will start in autumn 2023 is a three year full time course where we expect our graduates after completion of the course to work in a range of cyber security roles in the industry and you will you will be you are always in demand this course also focuses on uh, various related areas of cyber security such as iot security cloud security mobile platform security so and so on then we have a combined cyber security program which is called bachelor of criminology and bachelor of cyber security bachelor of cyber security bachelor of international studies and the bachelor of cyber security bachelor of international studies honors program so you can decide on your career path according to the course which you want to join now this is the structure of uh, our uh, cyber security course which is a three year full time course that is bachelor of cyber security so the boxes which are in blue they cover all the it core subjects and that is common across most of the it courses so this is the course of these are the course of core subject so which you have to perform or which you have to complete and that spans of course the first session half of the second uh, second session and some portion of the session 3 then we have uh, core subjects which are related to cyber security starting from cyber security fundamental information system management cryptography programming and so on then the third option is the cyber security options particularly 
specializing in certain areas like IoT security, cloud security, mobile platform security, project management, and so on. Then you have got um, one more IT core, which is also a project management subject. And you have, a, you have to select electives from the list of electives. Okay, so this is how actually the three-year program is comprised of. So once you complete this uh, Bachelor of Cybersecurity program or the combined program, you will gain a number of skills which are very much required by the industry. You'll, your ability to understand and develop strategies will be strong, particularly how to mitigate the cyber attacks because you'll be learning a lot of things within your course. You'll also gain technical skills in various areas of cybersecurity. As I said, IoT security, cloud security, application security, digital forensics. So these are all very much interlinked areas of cybersecurity. And of course, you'll be in high demand for the industry, both private as well as government, because cybersecurity is one of the areas which is almost looked after, looked by various organizations. When I say various, almost all organizations. So the, there, are, there are a lot of uh, career possibilities for you, but these are some of them. For example, you may be employed as a security specialist, network security analyst, cyber threat incidents management specialist, cyber security engineer, operation security specialist, digital forensic investigator, and so on. In completion of this course, you are very much in demand, and these are the kind of career path you can choose. So this is based on uh, some of the salaries. So across the cybersecurity industry, like uh, specific roles, such as security engineer, security analyst, security consultant, network security engineer, network analyst, and so on. So which is based on this uh, website, au.indeed.com. And that was published in 2021. And things might have changed since then. So we have a lot of course across uh, UTS and especially the Faculty of Engineering and IT. So we have Bachelor of Information Technology, which is a purely information technology program. Then you have Bachelor of Computer Science, where you do a lot of uh, study on uh, IT as well as the mathematics and uh, theory behind it. Then Bachelor of Information System, mostly aligned with the business system analyst, also combined with uh, Bachelor of Business. Then you have Bachelor of Games Development, Bachelor of Engineering in Software Engineering and Bachelor of Information Technology, which is a cooperative scholarship program. So we have a variety of course, IT courses across the university or across the faculty. So if you want to get into this uh, uh, program, so your ATAR score is very important. So which will basically then enable you to enter the program. There are some adjustment points which are also capped at 13 that is also applied on your task code depending on your situation. And the adjustment points can be given for a number of factors. For example, completing the UPS engineering and IT questionnaire, good results in relevant HSC subject, gender specific, and some special circumstances. You can, you can find those information by scanning this QR code. So the key dates, very important to remember. We had a open day, which actually happened on August 27. Then if you look at here, so you have um, scholarship application due date, then uh, when the ATA score is going to be released and when the offer is going to be made. So have a look around these dates. This is very important. Also, we are providing early entry to this program. So for example, if you are in year 11 and you want to start in 2024, you still can apply and uh, we'll give you then the early offer, but the final offer will be based on your ATA score. And this is only applied to current domestic or international onshore year 12 students. So have a look around uh, all those information which can be found by scanning this uh, QR code. So we're also very good in supporting the students by providing the Beijing courses in mathematics, physics, and chemistry a peer assisted study success or UPASS that is also available in many subjects. For further information, or if you have any further questions, so please visit this website. Thank you very much. I hope you will enjoy this course and build a strong career path 
for your future. Thank you.